Hello friends, in this video we'll talk about quantifiers with examples. Welcome back friends, let's talk about quantifiers with the help of examples. So there are two types of quantifiers. This is called universal quantifier and it's written as and this is your existential quantifier. So these are the two quantifiers and this is universal quantifier means for every and existential quantifier means there exists some. For example, these are written in this particular format. So let us read it first. For every x, p of x is true. So this is how we're going to read this particular statement. And this is what there exists some x for which p of x is true. Now if I'll take a general example, cows are black. If I'll talk in terms of universal quantifier, that means all cows are black. Suppose x is your cow, single cow. There, then the statement means for every x, p of x is true. That means all cows are black. And if I use this particular statement, there exist some cows which are black. So this is the way we're going to read the quantifiers. Now quantifiers, it can be of single predicate. Single predicate is also called first level predicate or it can have two predicates. They are called binary predicates. Here only one value x. In case of binary predicates, there will be two values x and y. So there is a difference. Don't worry. It's again very simple. How to read this statement for every x. Now this time it will become for every x. How to read this statement for every x p of x comma y is true. There exists some x for which p of x comma y is uh, true. Now here the restriction can be on x and y both on both. For example, see this statement can be written like this also for every x for every y p of x comma y is true. So restriction can be on both restriction can be on any one. So choice uh, choice is uh, ours. For every x p of x comma y is true for every x for every y p of x comma y is true or it can be a combination of universal and existential quantifier let's say for every x there exists some y p of x comma y is true so there are number of possibilities so that depends upon the problem here binary predicates means there will be two predicates x and y and single predicate means there will be only one predicate let's talk about negation of a quantifier don't worry with the example all these things will be very clear let's talk about the negation See here, for every x px, suppose this is the statement, that means for every x px is true, its negation will be, see, remember, universal quantifier negation will be existential quantifier and existential quantifier negation will be universal quantifier. So if I have to take its negation, this is your universal quantifier that will become existential quantifier and this is px, its negation will be negation of px. That means for every x px is true will become there exists some x px is not true. So this is the negation. There are four possibilities. For every x negation of px. Again it's very simple. If I'll take negation of the statement for every will become there exist and negation of px. So negation negation will cancel and get px. So there exists some x for which px is true. So if you want to read this statement this will be for every x px is not true and if I'll take its negation there exists some x for which px is true. There exists some x for which px is true. If you take negation for every x px is not true. And finally for every x uh, there exists some x. If you take negation for every x here px is not true. Its negation will become px is true. So these are the four possibilities that you need to consider while writing down the negation. And obviously these negations are valid on binary predicates also. That means there can be uh, two predicates also for example the same statement it can be for every x p of x comma y is true if you take negation that will become there exists some x for which p of x comma y is not true so this is what the concept is what the quantifier is how to read the quantifier and how to negate it now we'll discuss with the help of example and this will be very clear it's a very simple topic so let us discuss the first example if a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, find the truth value of. We need to check whether this statement is true or false. See what the statement says. There exists some x. 
such that x plus 5 is equal to 15 and what is x x belongs to a that means x belongs to this particular set there exists some x for which x plus 5 is equal to 15 now what should be the value of x x has to be 10 so that 10 plus 5 will become 15 but 10 belongs to this set no that means this statement is false is this clear let's talk about the next for every x x plus 3 less than 10 x plus less uh, 3 less than 10 means x can be up to 6 because 6 plus 3 will be less than 10 and if you observe this particular set you put any value 1 2 3 or 4 the result will be less than 10 therefore for every x that means for all the values of x this statement is true here there exists some x means x will be only one value here for every x means x will take all the values this statement is true next question now this problem is based on the single predicate because there was only one condition on x now if you observe this example this is binary predicate because the restriction is on x and y both the problem is in terms of x and y both so let's check we need to write it down in the symbolic form for each real number x see for each real number x that means for all x there exist real number y there exist real number y such that x y is equal to 1 see you just need to read the things and write it on properly it's very simple topic for all real number x and y that means all x and y all real numbers x and y so that means for every x for every y x y is equal to y x what next there are real numbers x and y that means there are few real numbers x as well as there are few real numbers y such that x plus y is equal to 1 so this is the way we can write it on these symbols from the given statement a very important uh, note here if you have both universal quantifier or existential quantifier you can swap their position that means for every x for every y you can write it down as for every y for every x so it doesn't matter and the same way it goes with the existential quantifier there exists some x there exists some y you can again swap and write on as there exists some y there exists some x so that is perfectly fine but if you have mixed for a uh, universal and existential quantifier you cannot swap for example if you have something like this you cannot write it down this way you cannot swap their position you cannot change their position if both are universal you can change see here if both are existential you can change but if one is existential and one is universal order doesn't matter you cannot change the order is this clear so this Stay, uh, this uh, note you need to remember let us move on and let us write it down the last uh, problem write in english so statements are given and we need to write it down uh, the symbols are given we need to write it down in the english statement see what does this mean for every uh, sorry there exists some x for every y r of x comma y that means r of x comma y is what r of x comma y is x plus y is even so how what will be the english statement of this sentence there exists some x for every y r of x comma y is true that means x plus y is even that means there exists some x for every y x plus y is even so this is this english statement for the uh, first uh, symbol next let's talk about the number two for every x there exists some y for which x plus y is even so this is the next statement next there exists some x for which px is not true what is px x is even that means there exists some x for which px is x is even so opposite of that so there exists some x for which px is odd so this is the third statement and finally for every x qx is not true x is prime so for every x, x is not a prime number. So this is the way how to read and write it down the quantifiers. Now we'll discuss about negation. We'll see some example on negation. Three statements are given and we need to negate it. We need to find its negation. The rules for negations are already, we have already discussed this. Now based on this rule, let us negate this particular statement. So let us start. The first is for all real number x, 
if x is greater than 2 then x square is greater than 4 so let us start let us assume p of x is x is greater than 2 this is the assumption p of x is x greater than 2 and let's say q of x is x square greater than 4 now for all real number x that means for every x what is given if x greater than 2 that means implies for every x if x greater than 2 then x square is greater than 4 that means px implies qx so this is the statement meaning for every x if x is greater than 2 then x square is greater than 4 we need to negate it so how to take negation first of all for taking the negation let us simplify this what do you mean by uh, this implication negation p or q negation of the first term or second term let's take this let's take the negation of the end see this is what the required statement is we just converted this into symbolic form now we need to negate it we have not negated it yet we just replace this implication with the, this particular property now we need to negate it if i'll take its negation then for every x becomes there exists some x and negation of this particular statement so here there will be a negation basically if i'll open this bracket this will be negation of x this will be cancelled so in short we'll get px this or will become and and this is what negation of qx now let us translate in english it was for all real number x so here there are there are few real numbers or there exists some real number x for which x is greater than 2 and x square is not uh, greater than 4 so the statement is there exists some x for which p of x and negation of qx so what is p of x x is greater than 2 and x square is not greater than 4 so this is your statement negation of this particular statement let's talk about the next statement statement number 2 there is a real number x there is a real number x that means there exists a real number x such that if x cube plus x square is equal to 3 let me assume this is px obviously you have to write it down like this in the exam let so i'm assuming this is my px this is my qx and let's say rx you have to assume this you have to show this in the exam let px is equal to x cube plus x square is equal to 3 qx is equal to x is greater than 2 and rx is x is less than 5 if there is a real number x such that if this is true then this and this so qx and rx so this is your symbolic form there exists some x such that if this is true then this and this so first of all before taking negation let us simplify first of all let's convert this implication into negation p or q formula so negation of the first term or q that is second term so qx and rx what next now we're going to take its negation so if i'll take its negation there exists some x will become for every x now i'm directly taking the negation so this will become px because negation negation will cancel each other so this is px this and or will become and and negation of this particular term so if i'll take negation and if i'll open the bracket so this will become qx negation of qx this and will become or and this will become negation of rx so this is your negation form now let us uh, write it down in english sentence so this means for every x p of x and so p of x is true and either this 
q of x is not true or r of x is not true so this is the meaning so let me read it again see what does this statement means for every x px is true and either this is not true or this is not true so this is the meaning of the statement so px is true is what for every x x cube plus x square is equal to 3 and x is not greater than 2 or x is not less than 5 so this is the english statement of this particular symbolic form is this clear now suppose uh, you have something like this now uh, see third example you're going to solve by yourself exactly similar to problem number one so this is your homework problem and suppose you have something like this let's say for every x let's say there exists some y p of x comma y now what does this statement mean this means for every x there exists some y for which p of x comma y is true and if i want to find this negation so this will this will become there exists some x for every y p of x comma y is not true so if there are both universal and existential quantifier you have to take negation accordingly so that's it all about quantifier uh, it's a very simple video and important topic also hope you understood we're done with it thank you for watching this video take care